Hey, hey, hey. It's Sunday night. It's the time change Sunday night. Come on in. Time to focus our energy for the week. See what's going on. See how this Taurus full moon is affecting you this weekend. Come on in. Yeah, lots of energy going around. Hey, Millie. Hey, Rita. Thanks for joining me. How's everybody doing tonight under this full moon energy this weekend? Beautiful day, right? Oh. However, I was inside at a class all weekend. Yeah. Hi, Heidi. Come on in. Come on in and join me. If you have some frankincense or some basil or mugwort or myrrh oil, any of those oils, grab it with you for the meditation. Frankincense, myrrh, basil. Basil's a really good one. I should have grabbed the basil too. Or mugwort. Mugwort's kind of a new one for me. Grab those for the meditation tonight, all right? Take, go ahead and run and get that if you have it available for you. If not, you can always come back and do that later, that part of it. But come on in. We're going to talk about the energy focus for this week. We're going to talk a little bit about that influence of the Taurus moon. We're still under that full moon energy. We're going to talk about how we start out this week, especially under this um, energy of the full moon, how we start out by showing up and by connecting, showing up for ourselves, showing up for others, and how we connect to that energy as well, how we connect as a group and as a community. That's what these influences are as we go to start this week and under this moon. So just think about it for yourself, right? Do you show up? Do you say you're going to do something and then actually show up for others, for yourself? Give me a hashtag show up if you're used to that kind of energy and you feel that you do. What does that feel like for you? What if you say that you're going to show up, but you don't always show up? Like, eh, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't really matter, right? Give me that like a not always. So I know where you are on this. Do you show up or not always? And how does that energy feel for you? We're going to talk about that. That's kind of the influences we're under right now as we move through this energy and open up to the week ahead. Time change today, kind of messing everybody up, right? Like, oh, what is that time change about? Why do we even still do it, right? But we do, right? And it does affect us. It affects our sleep patterns. It affects the kids, the animals, everything until we make that shift, right? That's exactly what we're going through as we move through the beginning of this week and into the next week. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with the group. Yes, come on over and find me in the Empowered Spirit Circle. It's a Facebook group. That's where a lot of the conversation continues. And that's where you hear about a lot of things that are going on. Some great articles were posted. Thanks so much if you were one of them that posted the articles this week. Just so much to read about and so much to interpret right now going up, going on in the cosmic energy. All right, here it is. I see it. If you see it and can share it for me, that would be super helpful. Here we go. Share it to the group, the Empowered Spirit Circle. Come on over. Here we go. Beautiful weekend, right? Here in the south it was. Like I said, I was inside. I got about a half hour outside today in the sun, walking around. Just absolutely beautiful. Very grateful for that kind of energy. All right, one more, and then I can focus in. Here we go. All right. All right. So, how is everybody? What have you been noticing about your energy this week? Hey, Adrian, how are you? What are you noticing about how you've moved through this weekend? Were you able to get out and connect with the earth? That's a lot of what this energy is about too. So when we come under the, the Taurus moon, hey Sean, when we come under the Taurus moon, all right? I was just learning that this weekend, we did an alchemy of the Zodiac with my pranic healing teacher. Yes, I still take classes too. So whenever he comes in town, it's like drop everything, Greg's in town. So we did, he did a course working with the alchemy of the zodiac, working through all the zodiacs, what our lessons are, what we travel through, what we're here to learn. And of course me, I like the cosmos, so I also am asking questions, how does this work with the moon? We're in Taurus full moon, how does that work? Yes, this is how we work with it. So we learned some really fun protocols and we did tons of meditations all day, really zoning out, working with some of the essential oils. He has his own line, Plant Prana, really nice oils. He's a very smart man yes not everybody can you talk consciousness with he is one of them so i really enjoy the class we have people that come in from mobile texas today montgomery and other parts of birmingham just all joining in so one of the things that we worked with today is this taurus energy now when we work with this energy 
we are able to use the laws of attraction, right? How many of us know what that is? Give me a hashtag law of attraction. So what we want to do in order to use this law of attraction is we want to connect the basic chakra and the heart chakra. That's really, really important for us to do. Really have to find a way to connect that basic chakra and the heart chakra. That's how we manifest. We want to open up and connect with the earth. Taurus is about earth, right? We want to be able to do that. The ruling planet, Venus, is all about the heart. Not all, but a lot of part of that. So we want to bring in what we're wanting to manifest into the heart. And we want to connect with the earth and open up that basic chakra. And then we want to hashtag, hashtag law of attraction. Then we want to release it out into the universe. That's how we do that. So that's what our meditation is going to be about today. Now, when we use the essential oils, we learned some techniques tonight. One of the ones I really loved was if you have some oils, frankincense, basil, mugwort, sounds like at uh, Harry Potter, right? <laughs> I thought it was funny. Or myrrh, that's the other oil. You want to take it and want to place it all around one wrist, all around. Make a circle the other wrist. You want to do this with your ankles, all right? Each ankle. And also, you want to do this around the belt, like if you had a belt on, all around the belt into the navel. This is helping us to get all of the meridian points, all of the organs and the meridian points involved in this. Love this concept. So we're going to do that. All right. Now, as we go through the week, the week is all about starting out with that connection, showing up for yourself, showing up for others. You'll notice this at work. You're going to be able to get things done. And then the energy will start to shift and move out a little bit later on. Then we start moving into a little bit more of that duality. <laughs> like, uh-oh, the other part of the brain's coming in, challenging us through that. So being as productive and as creative and really as focused as we can as we start the week is going to be very helpful to get us through the rest of the week. When some of that other energy comes in that helps us, it's good when we look at duality, right? We can look at the other side of things. So as we start, we're going to go through that energy and then into the duality. And as we move into the weekend, we're going to be able to see some of the other aspects of what it is that we're doing. All right, so I've gotten a few hashtags. Hashtags, law of attraction. Yay, we love this. Yes. Um, uh, Joe Dispenza has a new book out, Supernatural, which is amazing because he he is right from the secret and what the bleep. I've been reading it over the weekend. He has some great charts in there that show what happens when we do show up for people, when we do exchange energy, when we do get into this law of attraction. He shows the, the pineal gland and the brain. He has great, great diagrams in the book. Check it out. Greetings, Cheryl. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing up, right? Hashtag showing up. That's what it's about. All right. That's what a lot of this energy is about. Also, tomorrow we're going to be talking about showing up for your city. We're going to be talking about creativity in the spirit of a city. And my guest is Russell Hooks, whose work is all about the spirit of Birmingham. So that's on the Empowered Spirit Show tomorrow. The episode will come out talking about showing up for a city. Very interesting concept. It's actually taking this and just expanding it throughout your community, this kind of energy. Really important right now. All right, so let's just move into the meditation and then we'll get to the cards. We have some beautiful cards, been looking at them. Can't wait to share that. So wherever you are, if you can, if you can do the essential oils around each wrist, around the ankles, and around the belt line. All right, and then we're going to just take a nice deep inhale. Now, I want you to bring into focus something that you want to manifest, a project you're working on, something that you want to see, and I want you to bring it right into the third eye, and then I want you to drop that idea right into the heart. How will this serve? How will this help? And now hold that energy in the, in the heart chakra, and now breathe up from the universe, through the body, through the heart, through the crown, up into the heavens, focusing on what it is you want to manifest. And exhale, send that breath all the way back down through the heart, through that basic chakra, root chakra, deep into the earth. Holding that awareness to bring up the energy from the earth through that first chakra, up through the heart, through the crown, up into the heavens as we call in higher guidance, our divine spirit, the archangels, and our own spirit guides. We ask that they work with us and through us to surround us and protect us as we offer this manifestation meditation. Offering gratitude for where you are right now. Here we are in the season of fall under this beautiful Taurus full moon. To the directions of the west, the north, the east, and the south. Above us, below us, right into the very center. Asking for anything less than light to be gone. 
and only the highest vibrations remain. Returning to that focus, holding that focus in the heart of what you want to manifest and continue running the energy up through the legs, moving through that first chakra, sending it all the way up into the heavens. And as you exhale, pull that energy back down through the crown, through the heart, mix in that first chakra, then down through the feet and the legs. Inhaling and exhaling. And we just hold this intention. Continue that breath. Let the breath run. Feel that connection with the earth. Feel that connection with the higher power. Mixing in that first chakra, all right? We're bringing up about 20% from the earth and about 80% down from the heavens. We mix it in the first chakra, holding the intention in the heart. A few more breaths. You can do this like for two minutes. Exhale back down. Inhaling. And exhaling. Now dropping the awareness into the heart, into what it is you want to manifest. And with that next inhale, begin to send it out from the heart, out into the universe. How will it serve? How will it help? Just put those intentions out. Inhaling out in front. Exhale, pull the breath back all the way behind. And send it out with the breath again, horizontally out in front. Send it out. And exhale, breathe it back. This time we're going to just let it go. Expand the auric field. Expand those intentions out. Now release it. Let it go. Release the attachment. Throw the feet on the ground. Continue for a few more breaths. Inhaling. And exhaling. Bringing the awareness back to the feet. Notice how you're feeling. Notice that peaceful, calm energy. Very important when we manifest. We want to get out of the head. All right, we want to drop into the heart. We want to connect with the earth. All right, that's a lot of that Taurus energy helping us to bring through with this law of attraction what it is we want. We need those processes there. Very beautiful energy. Very grounding, very opening, very beautiful energy. It's just coming back around. So we always talk about using the full moon for crystals as well. So you can put all your crystals out if you want tonight. But one of the things I wanted to suggest is see if you could find like a generator. So a generator has like this edge to it like this. It's nice, sharp edge. This is the kind that you would put those intentions into. Whatever it is you're manifesting, put it in. Charge it with the moon. All right? Let that moon light illuminate your crystal for you. And then you'll see it just magnifies out, all right? So that's like a quartz. They call them um, generators, magnifier generators. Nice flat edge there. All right, so let's talk about the cards. How wonderful. Hey, Kendall. Hey, Regina. How you feeling, woman? Always you are in my prayers. Always, always, always. Definitely. All right, so here we go. The cards are really beautiful. The wild unknown. If you drew, if you picked, or if you haven't picked just for a moment, choose a card, one, two, or three. All right, we'll have a universal card, but choose one in your mind right now. Asking for spirit, like on ways that you show up, ways that you connect. Show me what you need to know. Ask spirit for that. The first one that comes up, I love this card. You're good. All right, Regina. Uh, Regina. Yeah, you're good. The first card that comes up is the Seven of Wands. All right, so the Seven of Wands. If you pick card number one, this is all about courage. Courage to show up. Courage to shine your light. Courage to find that inner light. Beautiful card for right now. It's not always easy to show up. I can tell you that. But have the courage. When you have the courage, so much will show up for you. Yes, it's a universal law. It really is. Have that courage. Shine your inner light. So if you drew the first card, if you picked one, that's what that's all about. Trust it. Trust that inner wisdom coming forward. Trust. Have the courage to show up. And courage will help you to show up. All right, if you pick card number two, this is the Six of Cups. We've had this before. I love this card. I love the idea of this card. This is all about digging deep. Digging deep into the roots of who you are for showing up. Having that like as below, as above, as below, right? That energy that builds deep into who we are. Look at the balance of that. Look at the balance of the cups. 
very balanced energy. It's calling you to use the deeper resources. Also, too, but I'd like to look at it right now, being where we are, is use your past life energy. Use the skills that you bring forward by coming into incarnation. All right, you can tell I've been hanging out with Greg Towens this weekend. But use that, that deeper part of your past history that serves you really well. Pull it in, right? We've all had many lifetimes to pull it in. It can also mean like your childhood and stuff, but go deeper right now. Why not? All right, so find that balance, dig deep into the earth, build that support for you that grows up on top. Really beautiful card, not a balance. Sixes are also about community. As I'm sitting here looking at it, this is also about building a community. Community of trees, they have that underlying energy. Many trees do, like the aspens, like the pines, right? They kind of stretch out like that. So it's also about building that connection with community. I like that. That was number two. So if you drew number three, all right, this is an interesting card. Number three, this is the mother of cups. This is all about that psychic energy. It's all about trusting, showing up and trusting. That's what this is about. Trusting that psychic energy because when this card shows up, what it's showing you is if you don't, You'll, you'll tend to get into that blame energy. You'll find all the excuses, why you didn't show up for something, why you didn't do it, and you'll start blaming. Because when we don't use our gifts, we sit in penalty of our gifts. Yes, Beth Davis taught me that. You sit in penalties of your gifts, meaning you, you can't access them because you can't trust them because you're not showing up for yourself. Very important. So this is really kind of a kind of a great kind of protection message, which is telling us to Use our gifts, trust it, show up for our gifts, because if we don't, it's going to be easy to blame somebody else. Oh, I didn't do this because my work was in the way or I had too much going on here. And then you're going to get defensive and blame and you're not going to use those gifts that you have. Right. Beautiful psychic energy that you do have and you can use it. All right. So let's just kind of round this up and then I'll pick a few extra cards. I see Lee, I see you did want to draw me to draw for you. So the universal card for all of us is the mother of the Tara, the Empress. All right, this is a beautiful card reminding us to use our psychic skills, to use our intuitive skills, to develop that higher intuition, right? That intuition, that intelligence that we have. This is what this is all about. It comes in to remind us that mothering, that love energy. Look at the aura of the tree. Look at the moon out there. Look at the glowing energy. All right, connect with nature. Beautiful card for Taurus right now. Connect with nature. The leaves are changing. Transitions are happening right now. So connect with nature and know how you fit into that. All right. Show up for nature, right? We need to show up for Mother Earth right now. Also another beautiful card about connecting through this energy of the moon. All right. So how do we do this? Courage. Courage to show up. Courage to find that inner light. Dig deep into our root system so that we can have the foundation to grow and to blossom. Use our psychic gifts. Don't be afraid of them. Be able to put them out there so that you don't have reason to blame anyone at all. All right. Beautiful cards as we go through this week. Where can you show up? Where can you find the courage? Where can you use your psychic gifts, your intuitive abilities? All right. So let's see. We have a few other cards. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Lee, you asked. I don't know if I missed any. I was doing this, but I'll pick one for you. Here we go. Yes, your psyche is getting stronger. Literally felt a lady today coming around. The, all right, keep practicing that. That's awesome. All right, this one is for you, Lee. It's the lovers. All right, we always talk about swans mating forever. So where is that love energy inside of you? All right, lots of times this card is about lovers with others. And sometimes it's about the love divine energy of your own spirit. All right. Look how, how close they're flying to spirit. Look at the way that's opening up. Look at the pairing of that energy. So where is that for you? All right. You got it. Thank you. She says, all right. So how are these cards hitting for everybody? Let's see if I missed anything. Anybody else would like a, a card post below as we go to round out the energy. It's like we're pretty good. All right. Anybody else? Let me know. So you go to round out this energy. So tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show, the episode that airs is with Russell Hooks. All right. Russell is working with the spirit of a city. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to share a little bit of my growing up here and how much this city has changed. So join us, the Empowered Spirit Show.com. All right, Cheryl, I'll draw a card for you. Also, many of you have been hearing me talk about the Spiritual Leadership Program. It is open for registration. We have some early bird discounts and bonuses. Let me know if you have any questions. The links are all on my website. You can find that at spiritual 
dash development dash academy dot com or go to terryanhyman dot com. Find out more about that. I've had a lot of questions today about um, the Reiki three training. I will post. I'm gonna hopefully jump on Facebook and post something about that as well. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, let's see. I have a couple people here asking. Cheryl, then Thelma, then Kendall. All right, Cheryl, ask a question. Bring it to mind. Here we go. Oh, I love this card. The Six of Pentacles. This is a beautiful, abundant card, which goes with exactly what we were talking about, the Law of Attraction. So put it out there. If you have to go back and redo the meditation, or if you didn't catch it, go back and look at it. This is all about... Mm all about that energy of attracting. Look at that abundance, beauty, build your craft, build your skill, show up, show up, show up, show up. This is a beautiful card, perfect for the law of attraction, which we just did. All right, let's see. Kendall, Thelma, and then Kendall. All right, Thelma, here we go. Beautiful card. Four of Wands. Ooh, look at this. This is about balance. This is about that inner guidance, knowing and trusting that deeper part. This is also about your passions and your desires. Look at the center of that energy. So go within. Go within. It reminds me of like, like that meditation we did tonight, like being really focused and putting that energy out there. This is all about passions and desires, all right? Get out of your way. Open that up. And that energy is available for you. Beautiful card. Scorpio energy. That's, yes, yeah, Scorpio is about passion and desire. So that is what this is about. So don't close it down. Open it up right from the center out. All right, Kendall, how are you? All right. And why not a card, please? Here we go. The daughter of swords. I love this. We've had this before, too. All right, Kendall, it's time to look around, to observe, to watch, to be quiet, don't let the chatter of the mind get in your way. Don't let the judgments get in your way. You can learn tons by observing. Take it in so that you can process it. A beautiful card for right now. This is great. I love it. Look at that. Look at what comes up in these little possibilities out there. So observe. Sometimes when we observe more than we talk, we think, oh, people don't know. I do know this. But no, just kind of be quiet and be still. All right. All right, Sean, I'm going to draw for you. Sean, did you hear what that, that third card was? The Mother of Cups thought about you, man. All right, here we go. Bonus card to go along with that. Another Mother, mother of Pentacles. All right, you have the ability to do what you want to do. All right, this is all about putting that energy out. All right, taking care of others, serving mankind. So put these together, my friend. I think you had picked three before, right? Both of them are speaking to you right now. All right, why wait? You know what I mean. Why wait? That's exactly what the energy is about. Mother of Pentacles is that abundance in the universe, caring for others, service. Look at this, right? Look at the baby there. All right, use your psychic abilities. Don't sit in penalty of them. Don't sit in penalty of them. All right, yes. All right, Brett, one more. Here we go. All right. Oh. That was the one I just did for you. Here we go. Ace of Wands. All right, Brett, you've got a new idea coming forward. Use the energy of this moon, woman. Use it. Ace of Swords. That's a new idea, new thought. Look at that brilliant light shining out from it. Look at the buds coming off of that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Put some new energy out there right now under this moon. Okay? Another day or two, we start releasing, but you've got the full light to do it. Find you a crystal. If you have a generator, use a generator. Otherwise, use a quartz or something. What do you want? What is that new idea? And if you don't know what it is, you need new ideas, sit in meditation. Just like we were doing at the beginning of the program. If you didn't see it, bring just the silence into your heart. Ground with the earth and ask. Yes, ask. Be really still. Selenite is always good for clarity. Get some selenite and ask for clarity. But that energy is around you. So bring it in. Definitely. All right, let's see. I think I got everybody. All right, I think so. So thank you guys for showing up. Very important, very important that we show up for each other. Very important that we show up for our community. That's how we build the spirit around us and within us, right? We don't need to keep it for ourselves. Let's show up for everyone else and help out. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so take this energy as you go out through the week. If you have questions, let me know. Give me some comments. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. That's where the conversation continues. And be sure to check out the Empowered Spirit Show tomorrow with my host, with my host, with my guest, Russell Hooks. He's a lot of fun, and we talk about the city of Birmingham and the spirit of a city. 
So you guys have a great week. We still have another night through this full moon. Put that law of attraction out there. May you manifest what it is you desire. Thanks for joining me. To your spirit. Namaste.